Hi friends, I am uh, Dr. Saurabh Bansal. I am Senior Consultant General Laparoscopic and Minimal Access Surgery from Yathath Hospital Noida and Greater Noida. Great Noida. And today we are going to uh, talk about a bit about the thyroid swelling. Now, thyroid is a very 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 common problem in our country and itself in the world itself. And the most common cause of uh, thyroid is iodine deficiency. The other common, uh, there are many causes of thyroid problems, but the iodine deficiency still remains the most common cause prevalent worldwide. Now, patient coming, uh, now being a surgeon, I will talk about the thyroid swelling. Now, the normal thyroid problems are go into the medical field, but I will talk about the thyroid swelling. Now, thyroid swelling usually happens in the front of the neck which uh, people will complain and that they will say that there is a swelling in the middle of the neck uh, that is that is uh, more of thyroid swelling now usually people come and uh, patients will have a uh, symptoms like two there are two subset of patients either the thyroid will be more or either the thyroid will be less when the thyroid pro uh, when the thyroid is more uh, that is called as an hyperthyroidism the patient will present with anxiety kind of hyperactive attitude a kind of uh, uh, they will have uh, symptoms like diarrhea they will have loose tools or they will have uh, 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 anxiety related weakness decreased sleep and when you have uh, more of uh, less of thyroid then you uh, they, they pre present with kind of lazy attitude weakness constipation swelling of the limbs uh, their face will be edematous their puffiness of the face will be there so usually when the patient comes to us with a thyroid swelling or our clinical physicians when they refer to us with a thyroid swelling we we investigate them with the uh, a thyroid scan or ultrasound uh, ultrasound neck in the initial period along with the fnac a small test which involves a needle of the swelling so we do this test along with the your thyroid blood test so depending upon the reports now uh, we decide the further course of the management now further treatment depends upon really the um, FNSE and the thyroid level uh, thyroid uh, scan level so uh, now uh, uh, now if you see there are only four percent of the thyroid swelling is, are cancerous they generally say like four to eight percent are the can are only the cancerous lesion so there is less to worry that the, that you have a swelling but again the symptoms of the swelling defines whether you need a surgery or not so patients who undergo surgery are more like because the swelling doesn't look good in the front of the neck that is cosmetic reason and the other reasons are like hoarseness of voice or when they cause the thyroid increase so much that it causes pressure symptoms like you can't eat or you are not able to breathe properly or there are some other swellings happening in the neck which are suggestive of cancer so usually it's a again a multidisciplinary uh, approach whether where uh, a physician and a surgeon or an onco surgeon or a uh, clinician decide um, uh, decide for you that whether you will be better for a, a radiotherapy treatment or whether you need a surgery or whether you need a medical management so uh, and the the uh, the prognosis of the treatment is really really good that the disease doesn't happen again so you you have to have a subset of medications which you might need to take a light term but these are these are most likely a harmless medicines so please don't ignore your these kind of symptoms which you often think that they are not related to uh, this swelling or uh, this swelling or anything related to thyroid and there are some systemic symptoms which are usually hampering your body so thyroid or organ remains a major control organ for many of the functions of our body so kindly please uh, visit your clinician nearby hospital or kindly you can visit me and book your appointment at library.com thank you so much